everyone, my first Timu haul of 2024. There are two more pieces that are, I guess, going to be here tomorrow. I'm not sure. But I will hold that off because I have one more order coming up behind it. So I'm going to just go ahead and get this one out of the way because there are items in here that I have slated to ship to somebody. Yes, I could have purchased them, had them shipped directly, but I did a huge bee stash, and so I have a ton of things I have to send from here anyway, and so I just figured I'd send it all together. Now, you might recall in one of my last 2023 videos, um, team haul that I had purchased a die cutter machine, and unfortunately it was broke when it got here, and when I tried using it, it broke even more, a big loud pop happened, so I had to repurchase. So I bought a, a green one or whatever color, I can't remember what color it was, but this is in worse condition getting here than the other box was. So I am hoping against all hope that uh, it made it here safer. Hard to think it would be in this kind of condition. But I'm hoping. So this is the blue one. The white one I liked better because of the color, but you can't use a broken item, so that's what I'm looking at right now is to see if any of the casings been broke. I don't see anything broken on the casing. It does come with instructions, of course, and what actually is included. So you don't get any dies with this, at least I didn't with the first one. So I'm going to set that aside. These are the uh, plates for putting your die in between. Now the last one, when I put the plates in and did the test pass through, um, it cut real deep into those plates. So I am going to get some felt and I'm going to cut a piece out to put between the top and bottom and the die. And there's an A and a B. The A goes on the bottom, the B on top, and uh, as soon as I pull the rest of these items out, I will give it a test. Alright, so what I have is two very fine paintbrushes, but you can barely see that. Let's see if I can get a little closer. These are for detailing with paint. I bought one for myself and I bought one for a friend. I bought some more of these because I really like this felt on it. It works great for when you're using your vinyls. I'll see if I can bring the picture in closer to you. 
Okay. So, I got a pink one and a teal. I especially like that teal. There are two of these in here. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. I bought one for myself and one for a friend. They are puppy hearts. Okay. Well, let's get the slightly larger things out of the way so maybe the small things will fall together. This, as you can see, is a watercolor art set. I will be um, doing some watercolor paintings. I can't seem to, uh, well, we'll just do this and try to get it open. I don't want to crush the case in any way. I'm hoping the case it's coming in is kind of durable, 88 colors. Oh boy. Believe me, I'm not trying to save the plastic, so let's cut it. I'll try to get it off of here. There we go. I believe it just slides open. A lot easier to do without crushed corners, but... It also comes with a water brush where you fill this with water. It has a little sponge. It's got matte colors and it's got metallic colors. So I'm going to be having quite a bit of fun with this. Okay, let's move along. Yes, 200 pieces, okay. I only have to open one to show you because one goes to a friend. I guess I'll open the one where they taped it closed. And there are 200 pieces in here. Hopefully none of them are broken. But these are acrylic swizzle sticks, cocktail sticks. To which I intend to use for certain types of uh, mixing. It's got a ball on the end. They are flat and whitish. I figure it's a lot easier to wipe those off than a wooden stick. However, they do seem quite flexible. Sorry, just closing that up. Okay. Then, of course, there are items that really shouldn't be crushed down. Hopefully, this is not broken. 
because this is not an item I would be able to mend. So let's just find out. I bought this for more organization. And ease of use for things. This, if I remember right, cost me $1.97. Which, if they still have more, I plan to buy more. I prefer the white, but the white are uh, much more expensive, almost $7. So, yes, you know that this is a special purchase type of situation. <clears throat> Oh my goodness! Sorry, it's close to me so I can get it open. This is a Lazy Susan. Of course it is made of plastic. I don't know what these tabs are for unless they're for feet. Yes, right here. So, four feet. This little piece goes in here, and I don't see any ball bearings. Ah, they're in the bag. I almost had a panic attack. So, I will put that together at a later time. I'll probably pause the video and do that after I fit everything else out and these I bought for myself there are two more coming that are blue those go to a friend however remember you know how when you're looking for something to open those bottles of ink or other like trying to clear the glue bottles instead of using a push pin you get to use these however boy that's a really really wide situation there and you don't want inks to be that wide and you don't want glue to seep out wow that is really really wide okay so that may not work for me but I'll find a use for it. Uh, they do come with rubber tips. Well, silicone rubber type of tip. So I'll get this put back in the bag. Um, comes with caps. I don't know why it comes with caps. Let's see what these are. Oh, it looks like uh, glue caps. So yeah, that would fit into those holes. I'm not sure what bottles they fit on, but I'll figure that out too. Okay, get that out of the way. Now for the molds. Um, two of each mold four molds, that means eight. Correct, everybody? One, two, three, four, five. Hold on. I might be thinking of the wrong set of molds. So, give me a moment because I do remember buying one set of molds that was uh, a five pack. And that's what I think these are. Yes, it is. Wow, they didn't, well, they said for nail art, so I guess that's why they're um, almost unseeable. And there you are. 
butterflies. Flutterbys. See if I can get you a little bit better view of them. And so there are 12 to each one of these. And so I purchased two for myself. like to know what's going on with that. Well, yes, I'm just going to have to do that. So let's, wow, these are scratched up. I just noticed that these have got indent. This has been used. I don't know if you can see that, but you see those indentations. Yeah, this has been used. So I just got a used set of acrylic plates. Yep. This one also. Wow, okay, that's really wonderful of Timu. <sighs> I'm not going to try sending it back. Uh, the first one was a big, big hassle. Wow, this has been used so much, it isn't funny. <sighs> So I'm going to go ahead and cut this just slightly smaller than these themselves. Uh, let me go ahead and get a pen to mark it so it's easier. And to make it even easier, I wish if you contacted Timu and told them things like this that they would understand and just send you a replacement for those things. I mean, if they're if they want, they're more than welcome to come watch my video and see that, but they won't and. They will make you send the entire item back. So, yeah, it's a little disturbing. I'm going to go with that quite a bit. Didn't buy a used product. I bought a new one. Okay, we're just going to cut right along the side of the one. Getting close to time to get my new eye glasses. I need my eyeballs replaced badly. Now I don't know that I'm going to go ahead and cut this portion. I might just leave it folded over to put the die in. And we'll go from there. And the only reason why I'm cutting it smaller than the plate is so it doesn't get caught up in the machine. All right, that should do it. I do have a die ready. So I'm going to place this here, put this here. Okay, I think that's what I get for putting everything away. Oh, there it is. Oh. 
And now we need a piece of card. We only need it large enough for the piece itself. Let's just go ahead and continue with that cut right there. I don't have much in card stock, so I'm going to have to purchase some. on top here, then this on top of your A side. Make sure it's within the acrylic sheets. Fold it over. Put your B on top. And I'm doing this because the last time it cut so deep into those acrylic sheets that it was uh, really scary. All right, now I am right-handed, so I feed from whatever way. Of course, I've got to find where it goes in first, right? Aha, there we are. Hmm. That should have no problem feeding in there. There we go, I think. Yes. Okay. Let's see how this goes. I will put it through and then I will put it from the other side back. That should have fed all the way through. Pretty close. Okay, now we're going to go back the other direction to make sure there's a thorough cut. And I can see the shape in the felt. I can see it really well right there. So the paper should be cut very well. And it's still left an impression. And it's still etched into this. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see how well it did cutting. Well, it must have done pretty well because it almost cut all the way through the belt. Pretty good silhouette. No damage. <coughs> Excuse my froggy throat. At this point, I'm just going to poke these all out, and then I'll pull the main piece out. So we'll just do it this way. Not bad. I did pretty good cut. Now I just find a kind of an inconspicuous place to put 
pull this up. There we go. And this is this one here now, and here's the original cut from the first one. So they are identically done, <clears throat> although I do believe that with the felt you get a much smoother edging instead of the harsher edging that this one has. Let's see, was there something else I was going to um, check? In? Oh yes. To demonstrate. And I'm really sorry, but I do have some hiccup issues. And I am trying to get through this as quick as I possibly can. Since it won't let me pause anything. Which is odd because the video I did just before this paused really well. Okay, there's the feet, there's the ball bearings, now why these ball bearings were not included in to the product itself I couldn't tell you, can't tell you which way it goes on either. If I pop this in there, it's not going to want to turn. Okay, hold on, everybody. Let me look at its instructions. Box rotating, yes. Uh huh. St six steel balls, four anti skid pads, one turntable base, a rotating steel ball bearing, or ball ring, into the six holes. In the rotating steel ball ring and press them into the holes. Must be pressed inside the hole, not exposed outside. Um, well, I shall try that. But the problem is, is they don't explain if you push that in there, it's going to be tight, too tight for the bearing to move. So what I'm thinking Let's just try it this way. Put one of these here, each. And no, it does not show which part of the bearing, uh, of the ring, the bearing is supposed to go on. So I'm just going to take this, put the bearings in here. I am going to put them like that. Try to bring the ring closer to me. Turn it over. Oops, and I have one on the run here.
Okay, now I've got a couple of them running around. I've never dealt with this before. Everyone I've ever purchased has had them installed the way they were supposed to be installed. Okay, um, I'm going to try this one more time, and then I'm just going to um, forget about it if it doesn't go properly. This is sitting on top. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's put the skid pads on, right? Skid prevention pads is what it should say because that's what it does. It prevents the skid. seeing how this is going to run smoothly at all. And this is just, just not stiff enough to support underneath there like it should to keep those bearings where they need to be. But I'm going to flip it anyway. Hope for the best. Okay, I think I, I might even have them in, incorrectly. Yes, probably. I'm going to turn this over, stare at this for two seconds. Maybe I can get that up far enough that I can see what that shows in that diagram. Or not. Oh, okay, yes.
Wow, this is turning into a long video just for this, isn't it, folks? I'm really sorry it won't pause. And then that piece. Fits down in there. Oh wow, really tight turning. Very tight. Okay. Okay, so um, instead of a turntable, it's just going to be sitting there. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Uh, I appreciate your viewage, ship, and... Uh, Thank you to all those that have subscribed, especially my long-term viewers. I couldn't be doing this without you. Or actually, I just really wouldn't be doing this without you. Um, as I said, I started the actual um, video recording to for posterity's sake, for my own referencing back and forth of things that worked and didn't work and things I'd like to try again, etc. And so finding like-minded people, though, has been a big bonus. And the comments, I love every single one of them. I respond to every one of them. If you have a question, I will give you the answer if I have it. If not, I will always point you in the right direction for it. Um, there are times when I will be, um, I don't know, what do you want to call, trying a technique or something that somebody else has done. And if I can remember who it was that I watched, I will, of course, add them and give them credit for it. Uh, so... If you like the video, thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. It helps we crafting people, us YouTubers, uh, so-called influencers. And it doesn't cost you anything. But leaving that thumbs up and comments and subscribing helps drive our channels up so that other people can get a chance to see our uh, videos in their feed and maybe they might be interested and that's the whole point is to try to spread knowledge and learn knowledge all the way around and of course Give it a share. All right, everybody. Peace out.